And now I want to introduce to you our 2017 reg residential president. And if you looked at the, the program, some of you probably said 1044 MC. What the heck is that and why should I care? Well, you're going to find out in just a minute why you should care and get a real great crash course in Go MLS Miami. Please welcome our 2017 presidential president, George Jalil. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Teresa said the competitive edge. And as I go around to my agents, my new agents, my experienced agents, what can they provide their customers that their customers can't get on their cell phone? On their mobile device, people can go in and they can look up comparables. They can look up so many things. The 1004 MC is a little secret thing that our beautiful board has given us and as I go around and I talk to my agents, and many, many, maybe many of you, you've never really heard of the 1004 MC. So first let me tell you what it is. This is the 1004 MC. This is an addendum that is in every single appraisal. Condo, single family, townhouses. This has been in our appraisals since 2009. And there's a reason why, because Fannie Mae in 2009 had to find a way to figure out how far properties were declining and how fast. And not only to find out whether they were declining in a certain city, but they had to drill down to a certain neighborhood. And as realtors, we know that a neighborhood is what's important, because if you read in the Miami Herald that Broward County is going up 5%, it doesn't tell you much if your customer lives in Weston. You want to know, how is Weston doing? Same thing down in Miami. This report allows you to do it. Every appraiser does it. And when they came up with it in 2009, every appraiser hated it. And it took almost two hours to get this information. Now, the competitive edge. Your wonderful board, our wonderful board, now makes it available for us, and you can do this report in less than two minutes. And why should you do this report? Why should you even care? Well, for your buyers, for your sellers, for your listing presentations, and also a way to challenge the appraisals in a way that no realtor has ever done. So I'm going to show you that. This is, for those of you that know, Matrix. How many people are using Matrix? Hopefully everybody. Out of 43,000 members, there's 500 here, so you guys are the cream of the cream of the crop, you know? So anyway, on Matrix, and I don't know if I have a pointer, but on Matrix, on the top part, you'll see there's a section for market reports, the upper right hand. If you click on market reports, and I'm not going to give you a lesson on how to use this, I just want to open up your minds to the possibilities of what you can do. And, and I believe that we are going to have this... Uh, available online, right? Okay, so you'll be able to review this, and I tried to make it very easy. It's a little bit too far, maybe. Okay, well, maybe I'll jump down there. But anyway, um, if you go into market reports, on the bottom, under general, your left hand, you'll see market conditions 1004 MC. This has been quietly placed there <laughs> And when I saw it, I said, oh my gosh. And I started showing all the agents in my company how they could do a CMA report that no buyer or seller could do. And by the way, no other realtor that doesn't use this can do. So what does it do? Let's get right to it. This, they set it up real easy for you so you could just go in and you can fill in as if you were doing a search. So I'm going to show you what it does. You, put, you check off active, check off closed, pending, put in what you want, which is on the left-hand side there, single family. And for this purpose, just to demonstrate it to you, I used the zip code. But you can use any kind of search parameters, any kind of filters, city. Uh, you can put in the subdivision code. 
so you can get just a gated community. So what I'm going to show you, the report I'm going to show you and what you can do with it, you can, you can do it in any type of uh, uh, area, citywide, or you can drill down all the way. So now, you go down to the left-hand side, you just pre ge press Generate Report. This should take you, no kidding, about 30 seconds to fill in if you're doing a zip code. If you want to do some special analysis, it could take you three minutes, but this takes 30 seconds. You go down, you press Generate Report, and this is what you get. Now, guys, if that looks familiar, it's exactly what the appraiser does. It's exactly what the bank uses to figure out whether the properties are going up, down, or whether they're stable. They use this to make the loan, and that's why Fannie Mae came up with it. So now, in 30 minutes or less, you can now create this. Okay, so what do you do with this? What's so exciting about it? If you look at the most important part, I'm just going to use my own self too. Here you have, whoop, I went off. Can you hear me? Yeah. All right. Here you've got medium comparable sales price. There's a lot of stuff here for you geeks, but for the most important part here is medium comparable sale price. Now you look at it here, and you got prior seven to 12 months back, 299. By the way, this zip code is West Kendall, just a residential area, right? 299, seven to 12 months back, 295, four to six months back, 320, three months to current. Now, if you're sitting in front of your listing presentation or if you're sitting in front of a customer that just came from France and wants to know, are prices going up in Weston, as good realtors, you're gonna say, of course they are. And then you're gonna say, the Sun Sentinel said, that prices went up, whatever, 2%, whatever. But now with this, you can go in, get any kind of percent change calculator, put in the loan number, which is what sold a year ago, put in the number that's current, press calculate, and now you can know exactly in every single neighborhood what the exact percentage is of of increase. So now we know that in West Kendall, prices have gone up 7%. Now, if you're a new agent and you present this to your buyer, to your seller, no one is going to ask you how long have you been in the real estate business. I assure you. So even just for perception, okay, even for just for perception, put this into a CMA and watch people say, hey, my, my realtor never told me this. And then, then you got to say, well, you know, that's because I came to this special seminar and I'm smarter than all the other realtors. Um, this is a fantastic way also to challenge an appraisal. Now, I don't have a lot of time because I've got to talk to you about another program, but I'm going to tease you, okay? That District 4 that they're talking about is in Key West. I'm going to be teaching how to use this to challenge an appraisal in depth, the board is going to have buses for you where you can party all the way down, <laughs> party all the way back for 55 bucks. Imagine getting down to Key West in 1950 prices for $27.50. You can't beat it. And you can, you know, have fun all the way there and have fun all the way back and actually learn how to challenge an appraisal. So I'm going to give you a little teaser. In every appraisal, the very first adjustment that's made is called cash equivalency, and underneath that is a time adjustment. Time adjustment can be negative or can be positive. I don't want to lose anybody here, so I'm going to make it not boring. A plus adjustment is when prices are going up. So now we see that Kendall has gone up in one year 7%. How much is that on a monthly basis? Anyone? 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 Is this on? Is this on? About a half a percent. Half a percent, right? Half a percent. Now, if it's going up half a percent and I just sold and I have under contract a $400,000 house and the appraiser uses a six-month-old comp, 
Don't worry, I won't lose you. That's a half a percent per month. That's 3%. 3% on 400,000, if he's using a six-month-old comp, is $12,000. That could mean the difference between you losing a deal or making a deal. Now, I got news for you. Appraisers are very nice people. <laughs> but there's certain adjustments that they can say, hey, you know, I feel a pool is worth this, you feel a pool is worth that. You can't do that with a time adjustment. I mean, you can't do that. If it's going up 1% a month, it's going up 1% a month. That's, that's all there is to it. So, I'm not going to tell you all the secrets because I want you to get down to Key West. But I promise you, if you go to the District 4, you're going to come back happier and smarter. And especially if you, any brokers here that have new agents, you got to get them on this 1004. Guys, it's just too easy. It's too easy to do it. You just put in this information. And by the way, there's all kinds of other goodies here. Let me just tease you a little bit more, OK? You can see here medium sales price to medium listed price. So now we know that in Kendall, properties are selling almost at 100% of the asking price. Isn't that great? And that's great. That's fantastic. All of these other things I'll show you in Key West. If you really want to be super smart and learn absorption and all of that stuff, you're just going to love it. I mean, it's just going to be phenomenal. You'll come back and you'll just be super smart. So this is what I've got on the Fannie Mae. I don't have Fannie Mae 1004. There's a really good reason for you guys to use it. It's real easy to use. If you've got a laptop right now, you could do it. The only thing I'll tell you is if the amount of sales are very small, the sampling is too small, it will give you back funky numbers. So you can't go into a subdivision when there's only been like five sales. You gotta have, see like, you see my sampling here? My sampling here is 104 sales, 97 sales, 250 sales. Now, by the way, we can also tell right from there that there's less sales. So now you can talk to your customer and say, hey, look, it's a great idea to buy over here because there's very little inventory. Prices are going to keep going up. So it really shows you a lot. So, <laughs> so I, I, I appreciate it. I just got too excited. Sorry, guys. Oh, there you go. Give yourself a high five for, for really learning this. So listen, how many people, I'm going to have to do this in one minute. That's going to be hard. How many people use Uber? I've got five older kids. I asked them, do you guys ever use a taxi? And you know what they told me? They said, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> no, they were serious. They were serious. So, so here's the deal, and I don't want to go over my time. So this is the magic. Not that it's cheaper, but that the customer, you, me, we can control. We have control of our environment. We know, that we see the picture of the guy. We see the picture of the car. We've got his license plate. We know where he is at every moment. This is what customers love. They love to be in control of their environment. Don't you guys love that? You love to be able to control your environment. You know? So, this is Zillow. Zillow does not let their customers control their environment. They can go in and they can just find houses. And then they put four different realtors, and usually the people just call all the realtors. But now we've got Go MLS. Now, I know you guys have seen this. You've played around with it. And you say to yourself, hey, OK, OK, George. This is what my, this is what my agents tell me. My beautiful broker, what am I going to use this for? It's just another search thing. No, it's not. You go right here, you can share this app with your customer, which means you hand over con partial control to your customer. So now your customer, like with the Uber, they're joined with you, not like Zillow. This is where you have to understand. Let me just show you, and I'm going to end it right now. You can get connected. You know, you can connect your customer uh, with, uh, with GoMLS, but the most important part is I'm going to show you a little case study. Here's one of my agents. This is not mine. Her name is Sharice. You can see it on the upper left hand. Okay? Look what she writes over here, and then I'm going to end it with this. They're going back and forth, and she says, 
I can't stand the ugliness of this kitchen, but this place is perfect. Okay, now, you can't do that in Zillow. You can't do it in Zillow, but you can do it in GoMLS. And guys, I wish I had more time to tell you, but I'm super pumped about this program, and thank you very much. <laughs>